Stefan Holm, the Swedish high jumper who won a gold medal at the Athens Olympics in 2004, announced his retirement on the 13th of September 2008. He bid farewell to the sport after finishing fourth at the Olympics that year and clinching a silver medal at the World Athletics final in Stuttgart. Nowadays, he lives in Karlstad and has become a household name for television viewers in Sweden after taking part in a variety of shows. At the end of a brilliant career that spanned 20 years, Holm can finally relax at home with his family and dedicate himself to his first sporting passion. I always loved football. My, my biggest dream when I, when I was a kid was to be a professional football player. I didn't quite succeed, actually. I, uh, I quit football playing when I was 15, uh, only focusing on the high jump. And then when I quit high jumping in 2008, five years ago, I, I said that I, I just wanted to start playing football again in the same team that I played when I was a kid. Of course, that was the same team where my father was playing and most of my grandfather was playing there. Uh, and then I started in 2009 uh, on the, in the lowest division in Sweden. I got a yellow card in my first game. Got a little bit angry on one guy who kicked me down. Uh, but I'm still playing. It's fun. It's also uh, it's a, it's a nice bunch of guys playing together. We're having training twice a week and then a game on the weekend. And it's just fun to meet up with all of them. When I was a high jumper, everything in my whole life fo was focused about high, around high jumping. And uh, a bad competition, I mean, it could stick there in your head. You could think about it for, for weeks to come. But uh, these football games in the seventh division, I mean, the next day it's all forgotten about. Despite this return to his roots, Stefan Holm has kept in touch with the world of athletics. And it comes as no surprise that the International Olympic Committee decided to put his experience to good use. In September 2013, just five years after leaving the competitions, Holm was rewarded with IOC membership at the end of the organization's 125th session. I was a candidate to the IOC Athletes Commission last year in, in London. And I wasn't voted in then, but uh, there was some problems with the voting. Two guys were disqualified, one of them came from track and field. So someone in IOC thought that it would be good to have an athlete coming from track and field. And uh, in June, when I had forgotten all about IOC Athletes Commission, I, I got a phone call from Claudia Bockel. And she asked me if I was still interested to, to be an IOC member and it's, it's hard to say no when someone calls you and asks you that. So, well, I had to go to Buenos Aires in, uh, now in September and uh, I was voted in and I'm very honoured to be an IOC member actually. I will work for, for athletes' rights, of course, with the, with the games, trying to, the, the time schedules, the transportation, the village and stuff like that, best as possible for the athletes. I can't say that I have, uh, have any dreams of being uh, any higher in the IOC. Just to be a member now for eight years as an athlete, that's, that's a fantastic opportunity for me. Uh, let's maybe we'll see if I, I do a job, good job and I will be elected into the IOC afterwards. But uh, it's a long, long way to go to come, come to the executive board or the IOC president. Looking ahead, this is certainly going to be a good career opportunity for home. But working for the IOC will also give this Swedish Olympian the opportunity to be involved in the organization of the sporting event that brought him his greatest success. My biggest moment in athletics, of course, I mean, it's, it's the Olympic title in Athens. I had uh, dreamt about the Olympic Games since I was eight years old. Uh, I was watching Los Angeles Games on TV in 1984. I had a dream to be an Olympic athlete. I had the chance in Sydney, I was in fourth place in Sydney and then uh, I realized that maybe one day I actually can win the Olympic title. So going to Athens in 2004 I had uh, won 17 competitions in a row. I was the main favorite to the title in Athens of course, but I, I had some problems on the way. Clearing 234 in my third attempt and then turned everything over at 236 clearing my first and uh, I was a very, very happy man that evening in Athens. I mean, that was a dream coming true, winning the Olympic Games. Champions like home are hard acts to follow, and the Swedish athletics movement is going through a rather bleak phase today. But the 2004 Olympic champion sees light at the end of the tunnel. I think Sweden have had a 
few quite bad years in, in track and field at the moment. Uh, after the, the golden generation with me and Christian Olsson and Kaiser Bergqvist and Gunnar Kluft and these guys uh, quit competing or got problems with injuries and so on. But uh, looking at the World Championship this year in Moscow and maybe next year as well in Zurich, I think it's, it's looking quite good. We've had some success at the World Youth Championship, the World Junior Championships and so on. So I think we're, we're looking to a bright future in Sweden at the moment. But it will take a couple of more years probably. Maybe 2016 there will be a European Championship and then the Olympic Games. Hopefully we will have some medals at, again. Not as we were in like 2004 with three Olympic gold medals, but probably at least one or two guys at the, on the podium again. If nothing is impossible, as they say, in eight years' time, home might be in the driving seat at the top of the IOC, shaping the resurgence of Swedish athletics.